Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, wow, we've got CUDA running on this uh, desktop. Um, setting it up was a complete joke. Um, a lot of stuff out of box does not work. I'll go through those uh, right in, a, in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a few things. Uh, make sure your card's running. I'm running the uh, GeForce. Uh, it's a low-end card. GT two fifth. Sorry, six fifth, six twenty. Um, it's it, it's it's just bare bones CUDA. It is it is working though, which is good. Um, and that's all I care about. I don't care about performance. I just want to see this thing run so I can proceed with my designing of my HFT based around this technology, um, which I'm still going to proceed with, which is still a lot easier um, than working with uh, clustering and all that, especially in Linux. So let's uh, get into it. When you install your card, um, if you come under here and either tray, uh, you should see the NVIDIA um, logo here. Um, there is a, a control panel um, which is important, uh, just so you know, if you come under the help system info, um, what you'll find is it'll give you the info about the card. Um, in this case, uh, you know, obviously we're running at 64-bit. Uh, we've got 96 cores on this card. I only paid 30 bucks for it, so I'm only paying 30 cents a core <laughs> versus uh, other things I've seen at $500 a dollar a core. So it's not too bad. Um, so we got that, uh, all the components, blah, 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 blah. Now, um, the latest version of CUDA is version uh, 5. Um, now, before we proceed on, I want to show you, I put together a checklist. Uh, I'll try to make this video uh, in YouTube point to this uh, URL. Um, and uh, you just go through all these checklists. Obviously, you're going to read the uh, PDF when you download the um, download the uh, toolkit for the CUDA library. Um, and when you do install it, uh, you will find the uh, NVIDIA is uh, installed under CUDA toolkit. So obviously, you have the 5.0 64-bit um, with the uh, documentation that you need. Um, and uh, you know you should get access to this uh, document here. Uh, Nvidia CUDA, CUDA getting started. With Windows. Um, I need to see what it's like in Mac or uh, Unix or Linux, considering what I've gone through to set this up. Uh, so let's go through the checklist. Um, first, uh, really important. Um, Whatever you load off the CD with your card uh, does not mean it's the latest version or really an actually a good version. Uh, you'll get all kinds of weird things. Um, a good one is when you are in that document, in the PDF, you'll be told to run a, um, a couple of uh, test functions. One's called uh, device query and one's called bandwidth. Um, Bandwidth, uh, here, let me just show you. Uh, I think it's called uh, Bandwidth. So this is built from from within my uh, Visual Studio. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But there's two uh, ones that you need to uh, to um, to run. I think it's called Device Query. So it's running here, but if you run it off the CD, you'll get this weird CUDA error, runtime version error, blah, blah, blah. But if you download the latest version of the runtime toolkit, uh, people are joking about the crappy drivers from NVIDIA and AMD. I could concur with that. Um, as a company, I'm, I don't know if I should be embarrassed for them, but uh, it's, it's, it's atrocious when you they don't document this sort of thing because you don't even get a doc, uh, any kind of manual or anything with the uh, package. So all this is undocumented and I don't know. Anyways, um, as you can see, it's got the 
CUDA driver version 5, which is what we want. Now the other thing is this CUDA capability, uh, computer cap capability. Let me, let me show you what that means. Um, in here, these are all the current versions of different lines of uh, CUDA. You have Quadro, Tesla, and all the cheap ones for us guys, the G-Force. Um, and in here you'll find the 2.1, 3, and 1. And you might be asking, what, it, what, what does this mean? If you do a search on, uh, you'll probably end up at Wikipedia on this, but if you do a search on this, So here, if we come under this Wikipedia document I was telling you about, um, you'll get all the cards listed with their computer capability. It's some kind of measurement from NVIDIA, um, and then it gives you a chart. Um, three is the higher end cards. Um, so when you are ready to purchase your card, uh, make sure it's in here because uh, that's how it's measured for your CUDA. Um, a lot of the tech guys in stores, I went to a very tech store uh, at Tiger Direct and although he was very helpful he didn't quite understand any of this stuff so unfortunately you're going to have to make sure you buy the right card that is um, got the right capability uh, that you want out of it. Um, fortunately I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack uh, with my uh, GT620 which let me just see. see it's not even listed here which is amazing but uh, in this, uh, here it's listed. And again, um, there's, a, you know, there's, there's, there's two versions, just, you know, just 620. There's a GT 620 and then there's a G, uh, GTX 20. So there's all these different variations, which is just, um, I don't know how they sleep at night over at NVIDIA to confuse people on this. But nonetheless, uh, I'm just trying to show you what I've learned. Um, and uh, again, you'll see the different capability here and then also breaks down, this is where you get into your coding with C++, what you can and cannot do. Um, uh, fortunately, I'll, the examples that I'm going to show you do work with uh, this particular board, the GT620, so it does work. I'm going to show you that as well. Alright, so that's the computing capability or what do they call it uh, um, yeah compute capability okay so uh, when you do run this device query command uh, the capability is 2.1 okay so that's that now the bandwidth is another check uh, obviously it, it, it is running um, so, so you got the G4C20, everything seems to be running okay. Um, now, that's that, okay. Now, you will be able to build your uh, entire, this is in Visual Studio obviously, uh, your entire, all your samples, I mean at least that's decent. Being a financial uh, trading operation, I guess you could say, all I care really is about the utilities and the finance examples. Everything else I'm not really too worried about. Um, but I, I think they seem to work okay. I'll show you what I mean. Um, another good example, if you want to see some basic, uh, let me just see, okay, there, there's one called Particle. This PDF uh, developer PDF explains that, but uh, this is what the program does look like just has some balls or whatever and you can move the cube around in a 3D fashion um, so uh, I don't know but uh, that seems to work okay um, and uh, let's let's run the um, examples uh, of the um, okay so like I said you build uh, the solution or you can individually build each one obviously within your Visual Studio. Um, the, uh, 
this is where I got confused because uh, you would expect the EXE to show up in under here uh, under the project properly, but it doesn't. Uh, let me just show you where those get. They they get found under this program data blah 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 blah. Uh, CUDA samples bin win sixty four release. I've noted that um, here at the bottom because um, that threw me off. Now the documentation gets kind of stupid. Okay. It, it's going to drive you nuts. Uh, so there's this one problem, um, and when you do look for these sample uh, files, C++ files, um, what I did, I wanted to, to note this, is that um, when you go looking for them in the path, it's kind of stupid, but they don't reflect it properly. Uh, uh, let me see. Essentially, um, oh, right here. Um, yeah, this is the f uh, folder that will typically um, uh, reside. But notice that it's program data, okay? And then, you know, in, in NVIDIA, CUDA samples. But also here in the documentation, uh, whoever wrote this document should be embarrassed. Um, for me, like a schmuck like me to catch this, and and for CUDA, uh, for NVIDIA to uh, put this out. Um, uh, in here somewhere, right here, this uh, stuff uh, just this threw me off. This little C folder. Um, if you notice, there's no C folder, um, so I don't know. I got through, but uh, that really threw me off. So do note, pay uh, special attention to that. Um, but uh, let's let's run the financial examples. Okay, so let me pull up my. Um, okay, so these are the different financial projects that we can run. Um, I'm just going to run and just show you that they do run. You've got the binomial. Um, binomial option. Okay, so it's running. Now, obviously, it does send out all the uh, data to the CUDA board. Here's the CPU uh, set of messages. Um, test is passed. So let's run the Black Shoals. Same thing, run it to the CPU, executing the GPU kernel. Now, I'm still trying to understand these, these, uh, G these kernels and this uh, dot cu and dot gpu files because i'm still new at it i'll probably do a separate video on that just to educate you guys in a crash course kind of way as they get to it but there are some uh, files um, as you build out uh, these projects that they do generate these these uh, cu and gpu files okay so we've run the back shoals it does work yay let's do the monte carlo Okay, that's working. Uh, this quas random generator. Okay, that's working. And then the Sobol, um, Sobol QNRG, uh, Sobol QNRG. Okay, so that's all running. Okay, so I'm gonna just build you one of these projects. So we'll do the famous black shawls. So I'm gonna rebuild. Um, it goes through this process. Now, the, the key is that you need to understand that it's not using the standard of uh, Microsoft Visual Studio compiler. So it's all, like right here, it's generating the CU uh, files, it's GPU files I mentioned. You gotta understand those. And you'll also notice that it's generating some kind of kernel as well, which I gotta still understand. But as I said regarding the compiler, is using this NVCC uh, compiler, which is, so far as I would know, it's a specialized compiler that's wrapped uh, to uh, the Visual Studio compiler to make sure that it's running, so it's probably compatible. But this is the general log you get for uh, the, the CUDA. Um, this is what's generated, okay? So um, that's pretty well it, I, I would think. Let me just make sure. 
I'm not missing anything. Um, so I mentioned this where, where the, the EXEs reside. Um, now, if you ask my opinion on, um, oh, let me just show you another thing as well. Uh, the NVIDIA under, under your uh, program list. Uh, here's the samples. Uh, there's some documents here about uh, building under C. See so, yeah, really C++. Um, and I still got to go through that. So there's still going to be some educational stuff coming down the line, but the key right now is I just wanted to show you that everything seems to work as it's supposed to. Um, and uh, so I got these two uh, documents still to go through the C best practices and the C programming guide. Now, as I was about to say about Windows versus Linux versus Mac, um, considering the amount of pain I've gone through to get this working, or at least to this point, on um, Windows is no no easy feat. It took a couple of hours. I'm trying to save you guys hours, knock it down in minutes. Um, the other thing is, if I'm going to go with Linux or uh, uh, Mac, uh, I'm not sure if there's really any real difference if I threw this onto a lighter OS like a Windows XP versus a uh, um, uh, Linux or whatnot. Um, for, for the amount of pain you'd probably go through to get it working on a Linux or a Mac, I, I'm not, not going to go that direction. I prefer it being under Windows. Um, because this is as good as you're going to get, I would assume. Um, and that's pretty well it. I'm hoping this really helps people out. Um, I'm going to still take a look at uh, some of these samples, see if they still apply to the finance. Um, as for the development of high frequency trading, it's a huge. Uh, this is a huge, huge step. Um, this, as I said, despite all the pain of what I've gone through to get it to this point. Um, the outstanding elements, because now we're in Visual C++ with uh, this CUDA setup, um, I still want to find something that enables me to do real-time data analytics um, uh, and um, go from there. I have been looking at Boost Signals too, um, as well as obviously um, I could go with Fix, but why bother now that I have Visual C++ I can get using the sample code from the interactive brokers uh, to get that running with the sample um, GUI that they have. Um, I've shown videos on that before and that works kind of out of the box. Just too bad that uh, um, this, this AMD NVIDIA stuff just doesn't work as you would expect, or at least have it documented, bring it up to speed and up to date. Um, but that's about it. Like I said, I'm hoping this helps you out. Um, got comments, let me know. Um, uh, I, I, uh, yeah, and that's about it. I'll, I'll, guess I'll see you guys on the other side as we move towards uh, completing this uh, HFT platform.